G'day humans, Chris Dead here. Today, I'm reviewing the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus Power Station. Let's go. Now, if you're not familiar with the EcoFlow brand, they've been making waves in the power station space now for quite a while, the best part of a decade, I'd say. And I've been using EcoFlow products uh, quite a bit during that time, starting with the kind of earlier entries and through, and I've always been pretty impressed with, Eco, with what EcoFlow offers. They've got a premium build, uh, a really uh, strong, powerful, consistent power output, uh, very feature rich, good warranties. They've, they've always been quite impressive, I've found. Now, the Delta 3 Plus here, that sits in about what I would call a mid-tier power station. So you have kind of your lower tier, which is gonna be about your 500 watt hours, mid-tier is about 1,000 watt hours, and you got high tier at about 2,000 watt hours. And depending on, well, there's, no, there's obviously, there's, there's different types of power stations that fall with outside of those barriers. In fact, EcoFlow has a 4,000 watt hour beast that you can get, uh, but I'd call this a mid-tier option, a thousand watt hours, and that's what you'd probably be looking for if you're a weekend warrior. So it's not gonna really give you a, a, a solid power station solution for a week-long camping trip, running a whole bunch of family products, big fridges, phones, laptops, that kind of thing, but it is gonna get you uh, through a good weekend, be a handy little backup to have around the house as well. Also awesome for job sites, or if you've got you know, drones as a hobby, things like that, right? Uh, that's going to be where this thing fits in. Now, obviously it comes down to price, and with the EcoFlow, you're looking at about $15.99 here in Australia for the Delta 3 Plus. Now that is a little on the upside for what you get for a thousand watt hours, uh, but you know, the EcoFlow brand is a premium brand in my opinion, and it is going to price itself a little bit further up, but you can find them on deals. In fact, I looked just before we came on this particular camping trip, we've been out in the bush, uh, for the last four days, uh, and it was going for about $13.99 here in Australia. So that gives you a bit of an idea. So what are you getting for your money? So the Delta 3 Plus uses a lithium iron phosphate battery. So that's the good one. That's the one you want, the LifePo 4 battery. They've got a, a much more stable thermal runway as our things do kind of go wrong. Uh, that's the least likely of the techs to go boom. Uh, but as I go into, they've got the X-Guard battery management system in play as well. And I feel pretty safe and secure with the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus. So as mentioned, you've got that 1000 watt hour capacity here. Now that is expandable up to 5000 watt hours because uh, you can get extra batteries. EcoFlow has a whole ecosystem in play. There's solar panels, there's alternator chargers, uh, and there's extra batteries, which you can daisy chain together to turn something as simple as this little 1000 watt hour solution into like a proper uh, backup solution to run your entire house. Now the AC output is 1800 watts. Uh, now with X-Boost, I can bump up to 2,400 watts, I believe, and it's got a 3,600 watt surge. Uh, so that's gonna take care of pretty much anything you're gonna have camping. Uh, it'll even you know, run a hairdryer or an air fryer or something like that for you, although it'll chirp through the battery pretty quick. Uh, it's also got the DC 12 volt tamps. Now in terms of the ports, I'll go through those a bit more when we talk about the design, but it's got two USB-C 140 watts and two USB-A 18 watts as well as a solar input. And more importantly, the solar can take up to 400 watts. So that's a lot of solar power you can get in there uh, when you're charging it. Now, speaking of charging, the AC charge is gonna get you to 100% within 56 minutes. It goes super fast. Uh, you can solar charge, or solar charge, as I mentioned, car charging via the 12V socket, uh, and you can generate a charging as well if you've got the alternator charger from EcoFlow. Now, I think it's worth pointing out that they do, it well, comes well stocked with cables, uh, coming with both the kind of the 12 volt socket the AC charger, and it's also got uh, a jack for the 12 volt as well. So I was pretty happy with the cables that came in the box. Uh, elsewhere, you've got smart app control, so you can monitor power usage, charging status, that type of thing. I've never felt a great need for it, to be honest, as uh, I'll put my phone away when I'm camping. It's very rarely reception anyway. Uh, so the LED screen on the front takes care of everything you really need. Uh, it's really quiet. Uh, at just 30 decibels, and you really won't really hear it come on even when it's under load. It's very good like that. And it also doesn't warm up under load as I go into performance. Now, I, I was at, I'll double check the specs that I put into the prescription, uh, in the uh, description, but the weight came out at 20 kilograms in what I was looking at, and it just does not feel like 20 kilograms. So I'm wondering if I've got that wrong. It doesn't feel, it's a very light 20 kilograms if it's 20. Uh, it has a five year warranty, which is excellent. And it also comes with a 10 millisecond switchover mode, which basically it's like the UPS mode. 
and it stands for uh, uninterrupted power supply. And basically that's just great if you're running a CPAP machine or something like that, or a really important machine that just simply cannot go off. Uh, and, it's a, and it's the backup solution. If there's a power outage, within 10 milliseconds, it'll switch over to the EcoFlow battery. It's a cool feature. All right, so let's talk about the design of it a little bit. Now, as someone who has spent a lot of time with EcoFlow devices, I can see a lot of places where it's improved over the years. Uh, it probably won't make a big difference to most people, uh, but you'll notice it's kind of got this, uh, like this trim along the side here. Uh, it's got much more angled look to it, angled here as well. Uh, that's kind of a bit of a new look for them. Uh, they've also got their power buttons up here. So you've got the main power, you've got the AC, so you push that, it'll turn all of these on. You push that, it'll turn the USBs on. So that's a little bit more functional. It used to be a little hard to kind of feel and touch buttons. So they've kind of, it's all nice and smart, the way the vents work and everything like that's really good. So the key advantages of the design for me, and I love this with all the power stations that I find it in, is a nice flat top. This is really good for a couple of reasons. One, if you're just charging something, so a phone or a laptop or something, you can just sit it on here and it will charge. Uh, uh, you know, obviously with through the cable. But you don't need to find another surface for it. It's also really good when you're packing and stacking. So if you're putting it into a trailer, into the back of a four-wheel drive or anything, it creates a nice flat surface. You can pile more things on top of it. Uh, if you're putting it in your garage for storage, it's just a lot squarer. You still don't lose those handles. So you've still got great, super strong handles on both sides. You don't have that handle that kind of sticks up and gets in the way and stops you from doing those things. So I do love the way that EcoFlow does their battery design. It's really smart and functional. And if you decide to daisy chain as well, that secondary battery just sits right on top. So it's really quite cool. If we have a look over here with the ports, uh, I'll turn, see if I can turn the light on for you. There you go. So coming over to the LED screen, uh, it's really, really simple, it's simple, simplistic. It tells you all you need to know in a really easy way. How much battery you've got left, 88% discount. What's coming out, what's going in. You don't really need to know anything else. Uh, so really good there. Now you've got the two USB 140, uh, two USB A 18 volts here, the two USB C 140 volts here, and you've got the four AC ports. Now, four is a great number, obviously. I mean, if you ch you're gonna be very rarely ch using all of them, right? But you'll notice that the US, they, they come out like so. So if you've got one of the blocks, you know, the block design kind of charger, the blocks are coming like this. They're not covering ports. So again, really smart, really smart, simple, easy design. Over on the back here, that's where we're gonna find our 12 volts. So we've got the cigarette, cigarette lighter port here. Uh, we've got the smaller jack ports as well. That's good for like camping lights. I often use these, for example. It's got its own little power switch. And in here, we have solar input, uh, AC input, and then that's for daisy chaining. And this actually pushes in out of the way, so it's nice and you just got it out of the way when you need it out of the way. Uh, so look, that's, that's a power station, right? There's not a whole lot going on, but really, really smart. Could it be better? Yeah, sure, there's a couple of things that could be better. Uh, you could have wireless charging on the top here. That'd be really handy. Just put your phone down and it's just charging. No need for cables, that'd be cool. Uh, there's no light on it. So sometimes uh, it would be nice, you can imagine just having a little light in here or even better, something in here. It just shines down if you, if you push a button and allows you to see when you're planning to put the ports in at night. That'd be a really handy little feature. And probably in this day and age, we might be starting to move towards having three USB-Cs and one USB-A. Again, very, very minor. But overall, I think the design of the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus is excellent. Uh, and even though they say it's, like I said, I don't think it really is 20 kilograms, check the description, uh, but it's, it's very, it's very, it's for a 1000 watt hour, I think it's actually pretty, it feels like a small version of that kind of capacity battery. So yeah, really good work. Now in terms of the actual performance of it, look, it's a pretty hard thing to test. You know, you can, I can plug it into a fridge fine and tell you how long it's going to last, but the reality is that the amount of power that a fridge is going to pour or draw from the battery is going to be so different depending on, ambient conditions, sunlight, what you've got in there, whether it's in a camping like cover or not, like all this kind of stuff. So all I can tell you is it holds its charge really well. It, uh, has, it seems to have a very, very smooth current flow. It doesn't seem to dip or move around or anything like that. It stays really strong and steady. It's very quiet. It doesn't heat up. In fact, I actually used this station to charge another one of my stations on this trip and I had it plugged in. It was drawing 1200 watts for like, I don't know, like an best part of an hour, and it was you wouldn't even know it had been running. It was pretty. I was pretty impressed uh, by that. So, in terms of the performance, I think it's 
you know, it's really good. All the ports feel really strong and in control. It doesn't feel like they're very flimsy or loose. The fact that it's backed in by five year warranty tells you that they know that they've built a premium product here, I think. And, I, and I've got to agree with it, uh, agree with them on that. This is, it's, it's a really well made product and the performance of it has been excellent throughout. The fast charge is uh, pretty quick as well. And just today I had um, the solar plugged into it. And it's a, the grander ecosystem of EcoFlow stuff's really, really good. I think if you picked up this and a couple of solar panels from EcoFlow, the solar panels themselves, they fold really nicely. Well, they fold really nicely together. They're really smartly built. Like the, the cover holds up the solar panels at the right angle uh, and they mold kind of over surfaces like a car bonnet or a, the edge of a trailer, whatever it happens to be, really well. You get that whole ecosystem together and they all perform excellently together. And we had this in kind of sporadic sun for I'd say two to three hours and it went from zero to 88% charge. So, you know, excellent. I can't remember how much watts of solar I had, but it's two big solar panel things. But anyway, so exactly what you'd expect. The only thing you gotta watch out with the performance of these things is just what are you gonna be doing? Because a thousand watt hours, look, it's not bad. It's definitely gonna, like I said, get you through a weekend pretty good, keep your beers cold, uh, but uh, it's not gonna do those longer trips. And that's where you might want to be able to step up to a 2,000 watt hour, which is what I would generally take on a four day camping trip, because that's going to get me through the four days without me being too reliant on solar power. Whereas a 1,000 watt hours, you're going to start getting really, you know, needing that, that solar, panel, solar panels plugged in within the first 36 to 48 hours, you know. So that's just something to make sure you know, is that choose the watt hours for what you need and the gear you're trying to run. Now there's lots of reasons why you might want a power station. For me, it's camping. Maybe it's for a job site. Maybe you're a drone aficionado. Maybe you need a CPAP machine to keep running. Maybe you just need backup for your house, whatever reason. I think in my experience, the EcoFlow brand is definitely offering feature rich experience, a functional experience and a high end premium power station experience. And I've experienced nothing with the Delta 3 Plus that steps outside what I've experienced with previous EcoFlow products before and I'm happy to, happy to recommend it. Just make sure you've got the watt hours that you need uh, because a thousand is great. For me running a family of five and going on multi-day camping trips, I like to step it up to a 2000. And if you're gonna step lower than this, really you're just looking for day trips and things like that. So just make sure you get the right watt hours. And again, keep an eye out for those sales. Uh, I think EcoFlow has a couple of members sales during the year that you can also sign up for because if you get it for around that $13.99 or even lower than that it really starts to bring it back down to kind of the competitors in the space and you're getting a really cracking good deal anyway those are my thoughts on the EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus Plus <laughs> I'm Chris Dead thank you very much for watching make sure you check out my other videos including a, a review of this fantastic campsite which is Gungutty Swamp also known as Dun Swamp out in uh, Passer Blue Mountains in the New South Wales Sydney area, Mudgee area, because uh, I'm going to put a video of that up and I've got plenty of other videos of power stations as well. Anyway, I'm Chris Dead. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll check you later. Yeah.